Hello everybody. Uh, sorry I haven't done a video in a while. It's been a um, it's been an interesting year, um, and I haven't had as much time as I'd like to make videos. But uh, I'm just back from a great weekend in Yorkshire, and uh, I'm based in Bristol. But I travelled up to spend some time with some friends. And while I was there, I went to West Yorkshire Cameras and had a look round. Um, and if you're ever in Leeds, uh, that's a great place to go um, in Leeds in England. And they had a load, they had a big box of expired film, uh, and it was, I think, £9 a pack, which is a bit cheaper than it is normally. Had a quick look, I think it expired in um, 2018 from memory. I did find it on here somewhere around there. It says 18, sort of embossed there. So anyway, so the thing with film is, obviously it can expire, it doesn't normally make a massive amount of difference, and if it's kept in a fridge or in a freezer, then it really doesn't age uh, you know it's absolutely fine but Polaroid film from memory has a battery in it which powers the camera so it'd be interesting to see if this expired film if the battery still works I kind of hope it will um, the other thing is I've got a couple of Polaroid cameras that I know work but I picked this Polaroid camera up in its box at car boot sale uh, last year long before lockdown when you could go around car boot sales which was a Good time. Um, I hope you're all doing well during lockdown. Uh, and this camera, in its original box with everything, um, looks absolutely mint. But I have no way of checking that this camera works until I get film for it because the battery is in the film. So I've never used this camera before. It comes with instructions and things. Um, so I thought this is a good opportunity. I can try this film see if it works and powers up the camera and it'll be a good test for this camera which I think looks pretty cool it's got a bit of a rainbow thing going on which is really cool um, kind of ahead of its time maybe and yeah right so this camera as far as I can tell you look through here you take the pictures uh, I think I have to look in the manual what this thing does I think that's but anyway, right, for a minute, and this takes the pictures there. So, you pull the sliding tab down, or you push it forward, I think, and that pops down. And there was like an old film in there with the, uh, where the battery was long dead, and I took that out uh, when I first got the camera home. Uh, so, we're going to open up the film. Uh, 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 uh. A minute. Let me open up the film. Let's get this film out of here. Do it as quick as possible. Comes in like like that. And Polaroid black and uh, 600 film. I think this is a is it black and white film. So that'd be quite cool. Um, now I've got an Instax uh, Instax Mini, and I have to say Instax Mini is great. It's smaller. Um, the cameras are a bit smaller and. Uh, but then the the films you the photos you get from it are smaller, so it's quite nice sometimes to if you can take you know proper Polaroid as it, as they used to be in a sort of square format. Okay, so it says wish you were here. <laughs> so this uh, the tab at the front this goes in like this. I think God, it's been a while since I did one of these Polaroid cameras, but I think they're pretty straightforward. And uh, do I take that tab off? I can't remember. If I do, um, does it say on the back of the box? Uh, I can't remember. I'm going to just close it and see what happens. There we go. Wow, I think I've got a working camera. Fantastic. So what I'll do, I'll take a couple of pictures with it, make sure it's okay, and, um, and then I'll share them at the end of the video. A couple of my first snaps with this camera the uh, Polaroid 1000, uh, pretty cool looking camera. I think this bit here was you could stick a flash unit in the top there. Um, let me have a quick look at the manual. Uh, just want to check if there's anything. Well, hmm. About what this little knob here does. I think it might be if you want, f uh, if you were using the flash. But uh, if you know what this does, post in the comments. Because I haven't had a chance to look that up yet. Uh, it's been a bit of a 
a busy day. Um, okay, well, anyway, thanks everybody who subscribed and following my videos, and thanks for your patience, because I know I haven't done a video in a while. Um, I really enjoy making them, and I'll try and make more videos in future. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, so I, just a quick kind of end to the video, I did take the pictures with the film that I bought, which was the expired film. Um, once you've taken all your pictures, then the camera will still... It's quite a loud camera, but it'll still take, it'll stay, still uh, keep whirring away because the battery's in the film. And you just slide this here, there's a button here, and you remove the empty, so all the photos were in there, spring kind of loaded. And that comes out, and that's, that's what it looks like empty, and there's a battery in here somewhere. And then that's it. So close that up, and that's ready. Put a new film in when I'm ready. Uh, one thing I did work out was the this knob here um, essentially is exposure compensation. So I think what you're supposed to do is leave it in the middle position like that. It's a little arrow there, and then you can under or overexpose using the exposure compensation knob. And that was basically it. That was the only thing that I wasn't sure about, but I looked that up. Um, I wanted you to know before I ended the video. And then, so I'll be honest, I wasn't very impressed with, I think it was the film rather than the camera. Uh, the first few shots were were me. They were overexposed. I'd not realized what that little uh, knob there did. And I took them with it like that. So it was overexposed. But then I realized that's what I'd done, so I set it to the middle position. Um, it's black and white film. Uh, I tried some pictures indoors. The shutter speed was too low. I tried some pictures outdoors with it on the correct exposure, it didn't work. Uh, there was reasonably good light on this one, but it still blurred like hell. Um, yeah, and then these two are kind of, you wouldn't know, but these are sort of self-portraits, but they've, um, They've not come out very well either. I think I will not buy expired Polaroid film again. Um, when you compare these to what you can get from a Fuji Instax and the film that you get with that, I think it's a lot better. Um, but uh, maybe the film for Polaroid cameras is getting better all the time. If you've used some, some of the new film for Polaroid cameras, sort of Impossible Project got... Um, I think it kind of got renamed, rebranded now as Polaroid, but um, maybe the newer films are better. Um, I, uh, I think the camera's probably fine. Maybe I'll try add some different film with it and see if I get better results. Um, let me know how you're getting on with your Polaroid camera and what film you're using. Uh, I'd be interested to know if you're getting better results than me. Thank you very much. Like and subscribe and I will make more videos. Cheers.